Well, today we are joined by a mystery person who we are all going to find out soon, which has quite a wonderful talent. But I don't think it's just one talent they have. I think they two have two. Talents. I mean, right? Yeah. I mean, I think their second talent would be self confidence. I mean, I wouldn't be able to come here and show my talent to everybody. And when I mean everybody, I mean the whole, the whole world. world. As you see, this talent, this boy, isn't as so little as you think he is. He's 13 years old and his name is Ryan. But he is wonderful. <laughs> Drum roll please for Ryan! Whose talent is drumming. But, so, wait, actually, so conveniently, we were just fake drumming. Wait, but he's actually a professional. What am I talking about? <laughs> And he's only he's 13, 13 years old. So let's see his amazing video. Hi, I'm Ryan and I'm from B17. Today I'll be playing Learn to Fly from Foo Fighters. <laughs> So we just saw you drumming and it was incredible. Like I have no words to say how good it was. So we'll be asking you some questions. Um, my first question will be, when did you first start drumming? Oh yeah, when I first started drumming. Uh, that was at least one, two years ago. One? Well, how it started, yeah. Was uh, when I was little, I used to like play with the pots and pans. I'll get like a spoon or something, and I'll like hit the pots, pretend it would be a drum. What inspired you to be a drummer? Well, one time I was on YouTube and I saw this video. Yeah, so then I decided to click it, and then I saw this guy started drumming, and that kind of inspired me because that's it. And I just said like that looked cool, so I'm like, why not? So, are you a part of any bands? Uh, not really. 
I would love to join a band, but not in a band yet. Uh, is you, did your mom or dad uh, have any experience with drumming before? Not really. They, they have no idea of drumming. All they know is just hitting something, that's it. Do you take classes for drumming? Oh yeah, I do take plenty of classes. One at school and I have a private drummer, drum lessons. Uh, his, uh, my drum lessons, they're, so my drum lessons, they're run by uh, my special drummer, like a very famous drummer. Oh, do you know his name? Yep, uh, his name's Alex Deegan. That's cool. Um, do you hope to be a drummer in the future? Uh, yeah, I'd like to be a drummer in the future. I like to play some gigs. What's the most difficult part of being a drummer? Uh, the most difficult part? Well, really depends on how you play the drums. Because like, for me, it's like reading the charts and timings. It's not too much, it's not that much of a bad thing. But for some other people, it might be how fast they hit the sticks, or the reading, the rhythm pattern like many things for different people. I've heard that drummers can do this cool trick where they throw sticks in the air. Can you do a trick like that? Uh, yeah, I've tried it before. <laughs> Did you succeed? Yeah, half the time I might drop on the floor, half the time I might hit some other drums, but it's okay. Has there been any incident when you accidentally, I don't know, maybe did something wrong during um, playing drumming or or any part of the show or anything? Oh yeah, there's been so, some major things, small problems. It can vary from the sheets falling off the stand or the drum sticks just snapping in half. Have you accidentally broken anything? Ah uh, yeah, broken the sticks. <laughs> it's annoying because you have to buy new ones. Has anyone complained about you drumming so loud? Because I've because drumming is pretty loud, like. Uh, not really, not yet actually. Uh, well, normally just you buy some drum pads just to mute in the drums, so it shouldn't be that too, shouldn't be that loud. Do you like to play the electrical version or a normal drumming set? Uh, I like to play a normal drumming set because if you play on electrical drums, you don't really have that feel. Just it's, it's just pad, hitting something. Yeah. yeah. Do your parents approve of it? Like, do they like that you like this hot uh, drumming? Oh yeah, they 100% approve of it. They support me all the way. Oh, that's great. Do you have any other hobbies uh, except for drumming, or is drumming basically the main thing that you do 24/7? Uh, well. It's Kind of drumming, sometimes going on the computer, doing coding, you know, it was like mostly like this drumming, computer stuff. That's pretty much it. So like coding, you know, you go in Python, you type in some code, so you get a robot and then you can tell that to wow. do stuff. That's pretty cool. Fun. It's really fun. Do you have any tips about drumming? Uh tips about drumming. Well, one, you can easily get a small drum kit, like try to find a used one, but then um, when you're drumming normally, uh, just try to get your sticks, let them be a little bit loose but not too tight. Okay, um, when you first started, did you feel like you wanted to give up or anything, or did you instantly no. love it? Oh, I just instantly loved it. No thoughts about giving up. So how do you remember all these terms and how do you like do everything at once and never so forget coordinated. anything? Like you have yeah. to play with two hands and like one foot and do so many things at once. How do you all process it all in your brain? Well, it's all practice, many hours, weeks, sometimes months of practice just to do that. Lots of hand-eye coordination too. You have to remember everything. Do you play with friends or do you like to play solo? Well, I do play with friends because um, sometimes at school there'll be two drum kits. Normally have like small drum duels. 
So like we just drum against each other. And sometimes I play by myself. If you weren't to have, if there wasn't a drum in this world or which instrument would you choose if you weren't to play drums? Or would you even pick oh. one or like go to coding like you've been doing a bit too? Well, if drums didn't exist, then I'll just go back to coding because like there isn't anything much like drums. So, because drums are so unique, there's a unique part about it that makes it different from any other instrument. If you had to pick another instrument except for drumming, um, what would it be? And please explain why. Uh, another instrument except for drums. That's gonna be hard because um, the only instrument I know to play is drums. So what I've about tried some guitar before. Xylophone. Like in the past. No, I haven't played that. Maybe something very religious, like maybe a didgeridoo. Would you no, able to play? I haven't played that. Would you able to play a fusion with that or? Oh yeah, probably. You know. Depends. Or would you pick an entirely different topic like coding, like you like? Probably, but still, there's something that needs to be in the middle too, like split that. So like, guitar, so I can play some guitar in between. What is the most coolest thing that you can do with the drums? Any notes or like, cool hits uh, that you can do? I can do some, f I can do some fills, I guess. Do you want to explain what fills are? Ah, fills, okay. So when you're normally playing in a drum, when you're normally playing drums, you normally play 2-4 beat, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and then after some time, you'll be repeating that. But then the crowd might get bored. <laughs> so what you do is halfway through, you bring... You try adding all the drums by going, um, I'll just show an example. Like that. That's pretty cool. So just, to, just to make the audience more excited again. Just have their attention back. Yeah. Um, so learning the terms of drums, like you just said, the fills, was it hard mm -hmm. to learn the terms? Not really. Just like, after you understand all the terms, uh, it gets pretty easy to remember. What was the most hardest part of drumming? The most hardest part about drumming? Learning a new song really. Because I have to download all the sheets and then I have to remember all these new chords, bars, fills. What is it's the most so hardest many new chord things. you think? To play? Hardest chord? Well, depends, because like, I've only played like two, three songs, so not sure. What is your goal for the future of drumming? Um, a goal for the future of drumming? Well, if I'm able to, I can make a YouTube channel, because that's one of my plans or dreams, really. Mm. Make a YouTube channel, make money, get a new drum kit. When you get older, like in your 20s, do you want to, except for if you couldn't be a YouTuber, uh, would you be a professional drummer or would you go for something else? I'll be a professional drummer. <laughs> some, yeah, probably touring, do some online data, uh, uh, so online platforms like Twitch or something. As a solo drummer or with a group? Probably both really. Sometimes solo, sometimes grouped. Do you want to be in a band in the future? Ah, uh, yeah, that would actually be nice. Well, because then I'll have make friends, know how to play other instruments. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you, what would you rate yourself on how good you are with the drums? Oof. Well, I have to say 7, really. Because, like, I've been practicing a lot, getting new to these things. Definitely not like my drum teacher. He's way, way, way above. <laughs> How do you warm yourself up when you drum? When you start drumming? Okay, so when you warm yourself up, you get the two sticks and so let's go here. So when I do it, you use one hand and then another hand. So then you repeat that beat one, two times, and then you keep on doing that for a prolonged time until your hands get warmed up. 
do you want to give any tips to young drummers out there um, or maybe on a skill that they they may be struggling with uh, okay well before you go on the drums always warm up make sure you warm up because just you don't want to have cold hands when you're playing drums it's not a good feeling are you able to balance your drumming time, your coding time, and your school time? Or is it sometimes overlapped? Uh, I can balance. I can balance uh, all the times, really. Just if I don't have things in between, like some functions or something, shouldn't be too much. What was the year when you really got kind of professional for your age? Like, um, if, for example, maybe you, in 2017, you really learned this song and you liked it and then you upgraded a lot from that one. Well, I think from this year, really, I've actually improved a lot. Because I've learned two new songs with so many new things I've learned with that song. Okay, so Ryan, we have a quick question for you, okay? If you answer oh, this, sure. you will get a huge, well not huge, but quite nice surprise. And okay. the question is, Mary has four daughters and each of the daughters have one brother. How many kids does Mary have? Uh, Mary has five kids. What is your explanation for the question? Okay, so first you guys said that Mary had four daughters. And then you added on that all the, all the four daughters had one brother. So it's just one brother. What normal would people think is that yes. you have, each sister would have four brothers. Well, uh, that well. is indeed correct. correct. Good job. You just won a reward from aladdincart.com.au. Enjoy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you um, so much. Thank you much. for joining us so much on this video call. Uh, for all we really this. appreciate it, and uh, we hope to see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.